Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this uh, Marks Brownlee MKBHD, if I spell it correctly, MKBHD logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So the right one is an image, the left one is our creation in PowerPoint. So I will just take this image and paste it in this blank presentation where I will close the ideas. I don't need any ideas, but since I will be working with white shapes, it's always a good idea to have the different background colors. So I will select design format background and I will select any color. I will probably not go with black because the black is not fine. You may not see some of the details, you know, like the handles around or something. So I probably will go with this uh, with this gray color. I will zoom in so I can see the entire logo in here and I will start by tracing this shape which should be the default shape. So select shapes and there is this parallelogram shape which defaultly is rotated by 90 degrees so I will rotate it by 90 degrees like this and then I have to of course flip it uh, horizontally like this okay so now I can try to position it properly using my arrow keys on my keyboard and of course draw those, uh, those handles to drag this uh, and kind of you know align it with the corners like this I, I, I can still select or erase the transparency just so just so I can see the underlying picture better I can also select the picture and open the color properties and send this send this to like a faded version just so I can see my shapes even better but I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this shape so I will select this shape and copy paste it move it to the same position and I will uh, flip it so flip uh, horizontally this time you know and this this like uh, outline that looks like outline but if I start adding the line for this shape it it's actually adding the line for both inside and outside so it would be pretty hard to kind of align everything properly because it's still being snapped to the to the sides to the corners while the out, outline is going to both sides so maybe I will not use outline at all but I will use my custom shape which I will just copy paste and then I will subtract this shape from the main one so I will do what I've just said. I will just make it a little bit smaller like this and make sure that everything is aligned. I will most likely hide the picture for, for a while just so I can see my shapes better and everything seems to be fine. So I will select those two shapes and I will select format merge shapes subtract and I will move the picture to the side. So this time it will be on the left side. I will reset the picture settings for the color so and for this it should be fill should be white so I will select white color without any transparency and for this shape there should be like a gradient going from a red to almost like a pink color so I will select a gradient fill so select the gradient fill for this shape I want to sample those two colors so I will use the eye wrapper tool to sample this red color and I will select another stop and use the eye wrapper tool to sample the pink color now I'll still probably keep those two colors around and I will change them to black and maybe white. This way I can see what's, the, what's actually the angle because those two colors are quite similar. It will be harder to guess the right angle. So I will press the arrow key on my keyboard and I want this white to be on top. So I'll rotate it like this 210 degrees. Now I can get rid of those two gradient stops and maybe move those two closer to each other. And those are really similar colors, so it, uh, due to the video compression it may not be that obvious that I'm actually, you know, dragging those around and changing the gradient. But this looks fine. So the only missing piece is that uh, the white shape should be at the same time below and over the, uh, the gradient. So what we can do is we can probably send this to back and then create one more copy but for this copy we want only the front part so what I will do is I will insert a new shape for example the rectangle which I will rotate like this and I will simply subtract this shape from the main one so I'll select both shapes like merge shape subtract and now, now I only have the you know like the front shape which I can move over the gradient and now the, the white shape is at the same time below and in front of the gradient so yeah that's that's mainly it. I will just insert one more shape with this like a uh, black uh, background. I will send this to back and we are done. So that's it. That's how you create this uh, Marks Brown Lee logo MKBHD logo in Microsoft PowerPoint. Thanks for watching.